Hello there everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. Today I'm going to do, continue my Ford Escort drawing. Well, this is actually the start of it, so I'm not going to continue it, so let's just start with it. And today we're going to do the headlights in the main grille. So, I'm just going to use my little ruler here. And it's got a nice square, well rectangle, sorry, rectangle kind of headlight system. Which I like because they're a bit easier to draw. I'm just going to curl these at the ends. I've used my Uniball 0.5 pen for this, and this is just printer paper, so it's not any special paper or anything. Like so. Then we need to do the headlights, so let's get our little circle temple that I have. Template, what do you want to call it? Then I'm just going to find a light that will suit it. I think this one will be good. Number 13. Bring that across for the other side. Okay, there we are. Got the two headlights in. Now let's start working a bit more detail on the grill. So I'm going to draw a line here. This is a slightly modified version, I'm pretty sure of it, but it might be standard. There's different kinds of the Mexico version and stuff like that. Mark II. Just curl these edges. Then we'll draw a line coming across. And I notice there is four bumps in the centre. There. And there's the line down. I've got a photo reference here, so I'm just following along. So really when I'm telling you what to draw, I'm really actually talking to myself tell me how I am drawing so just working these lines different structure to the radiator that's behind it like so little rectangle shape Bring these across. Now all of this will be done in fine line pen. There will be some areas that I won't do. But this area is mainly black and grey. So it needs that black outline. But some other areas are highlighted more by light. They'll have like a pencil outline. Okay. Bring this across. lines there okay now just for the headlights I'm going to do some lines going across a diagonal shape then some vertical lines on this side again keep it symmetrical I like to keep it symmetrical And just do a darker one here. Right. And I think that's everything for now. Now let's get some more colours and shades in there, shall I say. So let's go with our grey. There's only a few areas of white that I want to leave out, or maybe place a bit. Darker or lighter, we'll see. So this is just my Touch 5 marker. And these are really reasonably good markers for the job that I'm doing. They're not the best. They're not the worst. Just like so. Okay. Then I think this is a bit darker. Yeah. Let's do this center section. And 
there's a bit darker on this edge. And there. Okay. And there is a little bit on the headlights. I'm going to find my blue grey touch 5. And just add a few. Kind of shade in those black areas. Then shade this in. So the only area is white now is the headlights. I can make some pop out. The only problem is now that it's kind of a bit blocky the colour. So I need to dark uh, kind of shade these colours in a bit. Uh, if I can just find my trusty pencil. In fact I'll use a biro for this. That works just as well. So on this top section I'm just going to be feathering the pen down. Just flicking it down, keeping the same pattern as it going across. And just from the centre grills here. Just adds a bit more value to it. So okay, that's looking nice. Just smooth out this a little bit more. A bit more shadow there. I don't really plan these drawings out, I've just got an idea of how to get the effect that I want. I don't really plan that out, I'll just, I'll just work with it. Some pens and stuff, you have to just work out what you want, some more shadows, some things a bit lighter, sometimes a bit darker, but you've only got limited times in which you can actually push and pull things, so if you make things darker, you can make it harder to make it lighter and stuff, so you just got to figure out where to put it properly. I might add just a touch of blue in those lights. there okay now I've got the layers down I've got my the outline I did the coping markers now I've got the uh, the biro to break it up now to finish off I want to do some lines with the Posca marker so this has another layer on top so let's create a surface just on these lights just going down kind of brings it together there might be just a just a touch in the center. Then a little bit here. You can't apply this too much, you just gotta be careful. Just want to emphasize those edges. There we are. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, leave it there just for the headlights. This is, and uh, next I'll probably do either the front bumper or the bonnet, so stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you later.